Yo, what's up guys? I'm Eli Weaver, and welcome to a new video. Do your skate shoes always rip? Is it just a struggle? Are you annoyed because your shoes, they just have shoe goo and just suede patches, and, and they're just stinky, and just everything's ripping? It just looks like a raggedy just mess? And that's exactly why I made today's video. I know what it's like to have your skate shoes get all ripped up. It just looks atrocious. There's there's pieces of plastic, suede, shoe goo falling off. It looks disgusting. People are looking at it. You're getting weird looks in public. But yeah, skateboarding is a sport that really wears your shoes in a really fast manner. And it can make your shoes just look terrible unless you know how to treat your shoes with care. Because a lot of people don't know this, but if you repair your skate shoes, it can last months and months. You can prolong your life for I want to say it's like two to three months for some shoes. So yeah, that's why I made this video. I'm going to be teaching you how to repair your skate shoes. Alright, so the most common reason that skate shoes get destroyed is because it's rubbing against the grip tape. And this causes, especially if shoes are really like canvas, like not that good of material, it causes a lot of wear and ripping. As you can see, you could even stick your finger in the inside of the shoe. It's really bad. I mean, it's terrible. Even the bottoms are like <laughs> falling apart. But I will say this shoe has lasted me, um, I want to say two weeks before it started doing this. And it has really good board feel. And I, I really did like the shape. It's just the, I actually like them a lot. Um, the only thing I will say is like, I wish it was suede. But that's okay because as you can see, I found a way to prolong the life of the shoe. So what we're going to do is we're going to secure this whole area with shugu. And then we're going to add a suede layer on top. And then after that, we're simply going to paint everything and kind of make everything not look so ripped. And we're also going to put shugu and suede in this little heel little area. And then after that, we're going to actually get rid of this. We're going to add, add shugu and suede and we're going to take care of that whole situation. That, you know, that might the situation. All right, so materials that you need. The materials that you need to repair your skate shoes are very simple. You just need three things. Shugu, you can get this at your local skate shop or just go to Walmart. Or I mean, you can even get it on eBay, okay? This stuff, if you're a skater, it's like, it's like a, being a human being with water. You, you absolutely need this. Okay? You, you do need this. And you're also going to need scissors. And I'll show you why you need this in a second. And then this is actually really good too you're going to need suede patches. Now you're probably thinking, where can I get suede patches? You can get them at fabric stores, or you could, you know, go on eBay and just buy suede patches. There's a lot of, you know, scraps and stuff like that. And when it comes to painting the skate shoe, there's also three other things that you will need. And that's a paintbrush and paint water to go inside of the jar. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but uh, you know, it is a thing. Alright, so first things first, we're going to break the seal of the shugu. And this is pretty simple. All you're going to do is just simply get this sharp tip, as you can see, and just stab it in there. Then it's going to kind of ooze out like that. And yeah, just put the cap down or whatever. And I like to not waste the shugu, but I, I like to put a lot, like so much to the point where it's. You can kind of see like it's going to last a long, long time, like almost even, you know, almost even a month. And you can use ice to smooth out the shugu, but I don't really use ice. I just use my finger and just kind of just let it get kind of crusty and then just pick away at my finger. But it's not, <laughs> but it's not about the crustiness of the finger. As long as you smooth it out and kind of make sure that the shugu gets even leaf spread and it's pretty much flat that's what's going to help the shoe. And so yeah, when the shoe is really, really destroyed like this, I say the best thing that you can do is just, one, repair the bottom, and then two, put shoe glue on the top, and then also add suede patches for protection. Because that's what's going to, you know, sometimes you need to actually add mass to the shoe just to keep it from like, ripping into your socks, you know? So I've repaired that part. I'm going to actually turn this around and I'm gonna put a little bit of shoe goo 
on the edges of the heels. Because sometimes this can rip, like sometimes you just slide on your heels and it can, it can tend to rip, you know? So let's smooth that out. My fingers are gonna get real sticky, sticky. Sticky, icky. Okay. As you can see, um, your shoe tends to get random holes. So I'm just gonna put shoe goo on every random little hole that I see. Because it's better to be, just be safe than sorry. Yeah, as, yeah, this is really, really bad. I'm not really gonna put a suede patch there because I don't think it really needs it. Like, I'm gonna give these shoes away anyway. But I am going to put some shoe goo on that. That's all it really needs. Yeah, let's kind of let's kind of smooth that out. Make when you're doing this, just make sure that the shoe goo lays kind of even, because that's what's going to really help you. When shoe goo gets all clumpy, it gets like like when it's not evenly spread, it looks really weird and looks like almost like silicone. So just try to make sure that you really just spread it out really good. After I put the shoe goo, then you can start to like paint it and, and clean and clean it up and stuff like that. But I'm actually kind of in a hurry right now, so I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna, just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna paint it. A lot of the time shoes, they get really ripped up near the toe. So you really have to put a lot of shoe goo. And yeah, the whole steps, the whole idea right now is I'm just trying to put so much shoe goo that I'm just trying to cover up all the areas that are ripped. Like every little tiny little rip or area that could possibly be ripped, I'm covering that with shoe goo. And then the next step is we're going to add suede to the really damaged areas, like for example, right here. All right, here, after you get done putting shoe goo all over the ripped areas and all the crusty, mugusty, just flaky, just just disgusting areas that are falling apart. After you get done with that, you're gonna to want to get your suede and you're gonna to wanna to cut it into the perfect shape and you're gonna to wanna to place it perfectly on the shoe, almost like it's just an attachment of the shoe, almost like a band-aid. You're just gonna to wanna to lay it flat on the shoe goo. And then you're gonna also want to add shoe goo to the edges of it. And yeah, you'll, you'll, just, you'll see what I mean. It's not rocket science, dude, okay? You're, 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 look at me, dude. I'm a silly dude, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. All right, so we're gonna take our little piece of suede right here. As you can see, it's very, not stupid looking, but just kind of, there's just flaky everywhere. I'm just gonna get rid of that so it's easier to deal with. Cause that stuff is just the result of just actually repairing your skate shoes. The whole shape, as you can see, is kind of like like a like a rectangle as you would say so this actually works out pretty good so i'm going to cut this and don't be afraid to use too much so wait it's better to use too much than too little okay so you see that even though it's not perfect i don't really care because that's all th that actually works better than it being perfect anyway because look it covers up like right here so before we add that on, the shoe goo got a little dry. So this is what you have to do. I always do this, attach the shoe goo to the bottom of the suede like this and try to cover the whole area. That's enough. Slap that bad boy on there, just like that. And that's, you, you may think that's enough, but it's not. You're gonna need to do this. This is really, really important. Secure the edges with shoe goo. Because it could kind of just fall off. I mean, it won't just fall off, but it will like flake up around the sides. It won't have that extra layer of protection. It's like a freaking um, envelope. If you don't lick the envelope, it's not gonna get sticky. So yeah, this is a brand new tube of shoe goo. So as you can see, I'm, I'm not afraid to use a lot of it and that's this is actually really good to use a lot of it because it's going to harden and actually create so much mass on the shoe. So now we, we almost got all sides of it. I'm, right now I'm just kind of smoothing it out. We're gonna do this side now. There we go. And yeah, just make sure to kind of smooth it out. 
if you if there's more areas that are ripped, try to do those too. But when it comes down to the the right side of the shoe, I think um, we're almost done. That's the that's pretty much the only terrible terrible part of the shoe is that is it was this part because it was really getting ripped like to sh to just to shreds. I'm gonna add a little bit of shugu here just to make that look a little better, just to make that kind of stand down. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this left shoe. Oh wait, I, actually this is the right. So we don't uh, really need to add anything. There's already shugu, this is pretty much gonna harden. But you know what, I actually am going to add a patch right here just to be safe, because I'm going to give this away, I want it to last a while. All right, so let's cut that suede patch. Luckily, this is a good shape, so it turned out to be like a perfect square. Get your shugu. Put a little bit on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now simply place it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. And yeah, just cover the whole, all the borders. The edges of the the edges of the suede is very important. You don't really need to cover the the inside of the suede with shugu. Just kind of cover the freaking uh, the edges. Just like that. Cover it, dude. And yeah, now we're pretty much done repairing all the parts that need to be repaired. We're just going to do the inside now. All right, guys. So I ended up cutting out a little piece of suede. It's not perfect. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to be on the inside of the shoe. The hopes is that it just lays flat and that it won't really just, you know, rub it up against your heel. So the inside of this shoe started to kind of wear away. I don't really know why. I think it's because maybe it's just kind of a thinner shoe, but that's okay. We can fix that. So it's, all you have to simply do is just place it here and just kind of pat it down. Just give it a gentle pat and... Yeah, it's, it's really as simple as that. This right here, I can fix that. There's a little part, as you can see, it's kind of like flopping around. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably just kind of got old. And yeah, all we have to do is we just kind of have to rip that open. Put some shugu. Put a generous amount, you know. Okay. It's not really, it's not really sticking, but I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add more and make it force it to stick if shugu can't force it to stick nothing can <laughs> okay that's, that's a fact dude shoot i even use shugu on wood so don't tell me that it's not sticky Fingers. all right guys so we successfully repaired the shoes we're almost done we just have two more steps and that's repair the bottom of the shoe and paint them Fingers. all right so let's flip this bad boy over and we're going to just assess which part of the shoe really needs to be fixed which is just the areas that are ripping right here so as you can see I'm just gonna cut this part of the suede it kind of matches up pretty good and I'm just gonna simply use shugu and just stick it up on there just, just stick that bad boy on there see see let's do this put a just glob just clob just slobber on it but yeah what i'm trying to say is that d don't be afraid to use too much shugu because the more you use it's it's going to flatten eventually like it's just going to be stronger so really don't be afraid to add a lot you know don't be nervous don't be like a first date with a girl like if you're nervous then you you can't even i, I read something like you can't if you're nervous you can't even express your true personality you can't even express your charisma and your personality is so much better than being nervous. So just try not to be nervous and you'll be surprised. Some people will actually be um, very impressed with you that you have such good energy. But yeah, back to the shoe right here. It's kind, it's kind of uh, looking stupid. It's kind of just, just a weird looking wear. It's kind of like a, like it looks like the shape of Florida. It's kind of like curved like that. 
So, but that's okay. We just ended up adding shugu, and now we're just going to wait it out. Let's add a little bit more shugu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used a lot of shugu. All right, guys. So grab your paint thing, your paint thingamajig, and we're going to want to just add as much paint as you feel like is necessary because it's going to spread out pretty easily. And then grab your, you know, your desired paintbrush size. I'm going to go with something a little bit, not too thick, just like this works just fine. All right, guys, so now what I'm basically doing is I'm going over the parts of the shoe that are kind of discolored, kind of just choppy and just kind of flaky looking. Like this skate right here, this, this did look cool at one point, but now that it's just kind of worn, I feel like it would be better if I just, you know, cover the whole thing in black. And this whole area right here, it's very discolored and just kind of choppy with shoe goo, which is kind of just nasty looking. So something as simple as painting over it like this can really transform it. You see? So I'm, I'm covering all the shoe goo. And this, this is actually not a boring thing. This is actually a very fun thing. It's actually relaxing. And camp, if you're watching it, like in camera, you're probably thinking like, oh, this looks kind of boring. This looks like it's, it's kind of time consuming. But it's pretty cool to see the way that the in person, how the paint just seeps into the shoes. It's really cool. And yeah, I'm going to try to cover this whole shoe, this whole uh, front part right here because that way it will just kind of all match. It will all be the same color. It won't be like, oh, this part of the shoe looks old and this part of the shoe looks new. And that, that can make the shoe look a lot better. I'm also gonna paint this part right here. And yeah, Mark Gonzalez is a really cool skater because he repairs his shoes and he customizes his his shoes, clothes, and even and even boards, and he always like him. Me and him are kind of similar in that way, where we really like to customize our own stuff and make it fit how we want to fit, or make it look the way that we want to look. And that's a cool thing that skaters can do. A lot of skaters are really really artistic. So I'm actually almost done with this right shoe right here. I'm just painting the, the inside part right here. You have to use a lot of paint for canvas, like it really absorbs the, the paint really efficiently. And you, you know what, let's paint, let's paint this little inside part because that's, you know, we don't need that. We don't need that, dude. All right, so remember that little part that we repaired earlier? We're going to repair the cotton and we're going to paint over it, you see? We're repairing it by pushing it just like this so it gets sticky with the shugu. And then we're also painting over all the crusty parts. Like that part right there, we got, we're gonna paint over that, you know? We could also paint this little suede patch right here. This suede patch, it was kind of bluish gray, but the more and more you skate it, it reveals its true color. So I actually don't like that. I want it to be dark black because I think black looks good. So yeah, let's repair that little part. And there we go. All right, guys, see how it says destroy? I painted that myself. That was pretty cool. But the thing is, is I want my friend to be just just happy and feel like the shoes are in good condition i want him to be you know as hyped as possible so i'm going to make it look as fresh as possible and we're going to do that by painting over everything even the shoe goo try to be careful not to paint over the white part like the rubber of the shoe because it can just look clean when it's just you know a nice nice clean white line so just grab your brush dip it don't be afraid to grab too much paint. Actually try to grab a lot because it takes it actually takes up time. And yeah, get over all those kind of little sketchy parts. 
And yeah, guys, this can be a really fun process. I really like this. I really like to transform shoes and customize them. And just, you know, make them black and white. I really like to see how fresh I can make them possibly look. And that's a great, great thing. Like, I actually love to customize my own shoes. And I like to put Skate and Destroy in all black and white. Because I only wear black and white. I just think that that's... Like, Dylan Reader made it really look cool, and growing up as a kid, I really loved all black. So that's why I'm doing all black on these shoes. They're, they were really good shoes. I gotta say, like, these shoes, I got them because I wanted something thinner with better board feel. And it gave me exactly that. Like, it gave me exactly what I wanted. It was a great, great shoe. I, I will say the only thing that... Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to them. I will say... I might just stick to Nike because the bottoms of the Nikes last kind of longer than the Vans. And I feel like that's like a really important thing. But yeah, anyways, yeah. Try to cover up the whole toe of the shoe. Every single part. Because you don't, you don't want it to look like you just didn't put 100% of your effort into it. You want it to look the best you possibly can. Just like your tricks in skating, you want them to look the best you possibly can. So, I'm actually going over this inside part too. I paid, I painted, like the edges of it were white, but I th when I was doing it, I thought it would look good. But then it just ended up like, it. you just look at it, you're like, why is it, why is it white right there? Like, it, you don't really need it to be white. Like, you don't really need that, dude. Come on. But, yeah, actually, I think, um... After I get done painting this little part right here, we're going to be all done. And yeah, let's just do some fi uh, final touches, like painting the top part of the, the suede patch thing. The Velcro strap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much done, dude. As you can see, there, there is some, you know, kind of clumpage, kind of wear. But for the most part, everything looks slick and black everything looks pretty brand new so I, I think i did a pretty good job what do you guys think leave a comment if you like this video in my opinion they almost look pretty much brand new i this was a fun thing and black shoes are a good thing repairing your skate shoes it doesn't have to be hard too like it just comes down to shugu and suede and just uh patience so yeah so yeah guys I'm Eli Weaver, and this has been my video, How to Repair Your Skate Shoes. Go grab your board, go skate to Walmart, and go grab some Shugu. And when you're talking to the cashier, be like, yeah, dude, I'm going to repair my skate shoes. Like, I need Shugu. They'll be like, shit, dude. But yeah, <laughs> repairing your skate shoes is a fun thing to do as a skater. When you skate shoes, they can get destroyed so quickly, and a lot of people don't know that repairing them... It takes about like what five minutes and your shoes can last months and months so yeah repair your skate shoes give your hand-me-downs to your homie and then do a tray flip and then just be happy all right repairing your skate shoes it doesn't have to be hard it's a it's a pretty easy thing and yeah thanks so much for watching if you like this video hit subscribe hit like hit comment and yeah, now I'm going to go give these away because you know what? They're crusty McGusty, but my, I'm going to give them to the homie. <laughs> and yeah, guys, go go repair your skate shoes. Go buy some shoe goo. And yeah, just go skate, dude. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.